Hey Tom, this is a video for you. So I just want to show you the Rebel real fast. I'll go through it real quick. This bag we stuck on here we, for garbage. You know, when you have filled the garbage in there, you can put the garbage back here. This is that Sherpa rack I was telling you about, made by Owl, with the two one-ups on here. And you put two bikes vertically, and these open up like this. And then you put the rear wheel, and that one goes up. And then you use a little strap to strap it in. So that's a nice feature. Looking inside, can you back up a little bit? Thank you. <laughs> so looking inside, we've got the bed is already down in, in, in that position. And um, this is what the, we call the, the garage. I have these boxes. These are all empty. We use them for gear and stuff. And whoever the owner is will get these because they fit nice. They stack and you can still close the bed. Uh, over here is the shower controls, and can you back up a little bit? Um, <laughs> we got the controls right here. They just snap in, and then you can take a shower here. You can actually put a cute in there and do a shower. Um, I put some lights in here. That's actually not stock Rebel, and uh, you turn on the water pump here and stuff like that. This thing is a netting that we pretty much keep it in here all the time. And you can snap it, zip it down, and then, then you can sleep back here with not having bugs on you in the summer. And then, not all Rebel owners do this, but I, what I do is I just roll this up. kind of keeps it out of the way of the garage. All right, and then moving on. And always push the doors all the way open or they'll close on you. And then over here, inside our shed, um, I'll close the door real fast. You can see the side is nice. No dents or anything. Um, and so anyways, I'll go inside here. This is the van life. Make sure you get me in here as well. I'm always yelling at my wife. Um, this is the inside. This is the screen thing. That we pretty much, we never took it down. Some people take it out. And then this is the exterior table I was talking about. All Rebels have them. Usually, most of the Rebels have like a, a leg that screws in down here, but I, I put in the cable kit. It was just an accessory I bought. It made it a little bit more convenient. I still have the leg for the table. And it just goes up. You do that. And I make sure this kind of tucks underneath there. Keep it out of the way. And then, of course, you can do the shower. And this is where you fill with water and do the winterizing. So I'll step inside and come on in. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll in the living room? Just come in here every, every, <laughs> in the front and then look this way and I'll just show Tom here. This is like the control panel. Uh, this is where you um, can raise the bed. I'll go ahead and raise it all the way. It's kind of quiet. Uh, oh, before it goes up, this is a memory foam. comes with it. And this is our mattress pad that's never really been touched. It's been covered the whole time. And we put a queen fitted sheet over this whole thing. And that works pretty well. And then we just throw the other blankets on top. Usually we leave all the blankets and the pillows. And then we just we crush all the pink blankets and the pillows to the top about there. And that gives ample view to look out. And like I said, this is the garage. And there's a lot of space back here. There's all these accessories where you can put benches and stuff in here. Um, and just kind of shotgunning it here. Here's the refrigerator. The, Re the new Rebels, I think. The refrigerator's up here. I'm not sure. Things moved around a little bit. This is the sink. The sink comes up like that. And um, storage for stuff. Utensils and things like that. Over here is the shower. I, I said it had a bifold door that's green. It's this green color, and it opens up like this, but it comes out a little bit and kind of sweeps into this area. So we took it off because it kind of just got in the way. And, um, and then we don't travel with these two shelves. We take those out, but they came with the Rebel. And, um, and then with these out, it gives you full access to the toilet. And then if you want to take a shower, you can hang the shower curtain from here with a little bit of Velcro at the bottom, and it works pretty well. 
Um, I actually roll a little towel down here just in case it leaks out. But we've done showers, what, five or six times? Maybe more, a dozen times. And then you get your toothpaste thing over here. And there's a toilet paper roll thing over there. And a fan up at top. Yeah. And then once you go back over there, <clears throat> as you can see, we already turned these seats around. This one. But two. And then you can sit down like this. And there's lots of room. I'll move, I'll move this seat forward. Or turn this one around. Um, it's this way. It's got ample room. You can rotate it. Then you just slide it back. Now you can... This is our typical evening, especially in the winter. I usually sit here, we eat here, Laura sits there. And then if we watch a TV or a movie, we put it, set it on the counter there, and we sit there like that and watch it like that. And this is like all the space we've done. <laughs> so it's a little tight, but it's insulated. And you can be in zero degrees without any issues. Feels very safe. And I'll flip these back around. We have window covers for everything, and um, so there. That's kind of how the, all that goes. Um, electronics and everything. It's got a great navigation system. You can turn it on while you're camping, so you don't have to use the key. And you can see it's booting up. It actually takes like a minute to boot up, but it's got great navigation. And then we have Sirius, Sirius, and that's good for traveling. It's an automatic. Looks like a stick, but it's not. And the radial should pop on any second now. So that's the radio. And navigation comes up. It's a great navigator. We use it. Um, what else can I show you? I'm showing the storage on the side. Yeah. I don't know about that zooming in thing. I'm not sure how okay. beneficial that is. So let, let me take over. So Maybe anyway. The couch. Uh, yeah, the couch folds open and you can actually sleep a third person sideways right there. Uh, we did it up. We did it once with Mitch. Yeah, this thing pulls here. Anyways. And, and it, this thing too. Oh yeah, the custom butcher block. So I made a custom butcher block that has rubber feet on the bottom and it fits intimately with this glass top induction cooker. And so like you, it literally just fits on there like that. It's great. It doesn't move, drive off road, never slides off. And just to take a look over here, there's the front, um, just standard little chips and stuff there's one like right there and you know a couple little chips right road chips but otherwise it's pretty clean there's my thanks factor 55 plates and i jump on the roof but just take my word for it your solar panels up there i think it's 270 amp hours okay Do you want me to pop this? nope